Let's see how to do that inside the Premiere Pro. Select the Type tool and type your text to the program window. Open the Essential Graphics tab to adjust the text size and position. Mark all these text, click on Edit, then increase the text size. Let's make it center. Then close the Essential Graphics tab. Go to the Effects tab. Search for Color Balance RGB. Apply this effect to the text layer. Now duplicate the text layer two times. Select the top layer. Go to the Effect Controls. Inside the Color Balance, set the green and blue to zero. Then change the Blend Mode, Normal to Screen. Now select the second layer. This time set the red and blue to zero. Again change the Blend Mode, Normal to Screen. Then select the bottom layer and set the red and green to zero. Move the time indicator around one second. Now we are going to animate the top layer position. Make a keyframe on position. Then move five frames forward and pull the position right just a little bit. Again, move five frames to the right and reset the position. So it will make a simple glitch effect. Now go to the first keyframe. Move one frame forward and pull the position left a little bit. Then go to the last keyframe. Move one frame backward and again pull the position to the left so it'll make a shutter glitch effect. Also, if you like, you can animate the scale as well. Go to the first keyframe and make a keyframe on scale. Move one frame to the right and set the scale. Size 103. Then go to the center and reset the scale. Go to the last keyframe and make another keyframe on scale. Then move one frame to the back again. Set the scale size 103. Let's see a quick preview and it looks so pretty. Now let's add the warp line. So select all the layers and nest them. Move the time indicator to the one second and make a cut here. Now move 10 frames to the right side and make another cut here. Then go to the effects tab and search for wave warp effect. Apply this effect to the 10 frames. Now go to the effect controls. Then change the wave type, sign to square. Set the wave height 0 and wave width 330. Change the direction 0 degree. So that's it for the warp line. Let's see the preview. And it's perfect. Now just increase the scale size a little bit. I like to increase 105. So that's it for today. If you enjoy this effect, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.